I hope you guys are having a fantastic new year. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed lately. Yes. And for all our loyal subscribers and commenters, woo, woo, we woo, woo, see woo, you. We see you. We love you. Yes. And uh, don't forget to keep sharing our videos with uh -huh. your friends. Uh -huh. And we'll keep growing together. That's we have right. some exciting news coming so up. So exciting! So I'm not going to say too much, but you're going to love it. Yes. Uh, so stick with us. And we'll keep all the fun coming. Yes, there's so many things. Yes, in the we got works a lot of things right in the works. We spoke to like... someone just tonight oh! about one of those things. I really liked our conversation. <laughs> I think I think it's gonna work out well with yes, them. Yes. So yeah, we'll keep you guys posted. Hello, dear friends. Hey guys! Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh-huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife. Biname or B. Please make sure you have subscribed to our channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so, so you know, know when a new video, video comes, comes out. out. Thank you. All right. Today, Today, we are doing another subscriber request month request woo, woo, from woo, woo, you. Woo, 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 woo. Request month. It's like January and we're yeah, still so doing we're, it. I know, I know, <laughs> I know, we're past the request oh, But that's all right because, because that had, was a lot. <laughs> yes, we had an overwhelming amount of suggestions. And thank you to you guys for Yes, that. thank you to our dear friends, our subscribers <laughs> came through again. Yes. And this video is mm -hmm. about our experiences mm -hmm. at salons. Yes, it was, it was kind of a request. So the first video we did was like, definitely something we wanted to talk about which mm -hmm. was when um you finally saw my natural hair right. and that video has done so well yeah, if go you check it out it, go check it out we will link it up here somewhere just yes. click on that but this is kind of like a, a follow-up follow-up yes. because yes. i had um a friend over the other day and i was braiding her hair and we got to talking about the salons <laughs> and then jory and i started cracking up yep. because of all the things we've gone through yep. with hair salon nail salon <laughs> braiding salon you oh, name it salon man. we've gone through it story time <laughs> It's time to chat. Yes. So that's what we're going to be talking about, hair experiences in the salon. So, okay. Yeah. Should we do it? Yeah. All right. Let's get into it. So Okay. So, Vinna knows how to braid hair. Yes. But she doesn't always want to braid her own hair. I sure don't. <laughs> so from time to time, she'll go and get it braided. Uh-huh. Um, and when we were in South Carolina, it wasn't probably as often as would have been nice. I would have been, I would have liked it. But so yeah. these experiences are like mostly from South Carolina. <laughs> yeah. And so one thing we started noticing about right. African hair braiding salons, mm -hmm. uh, especially, would you say it was like other salons Yeah, too? because I got my hair uh, braided often. Mm -hmm. So a uh, lot of this was like more African braiding salon, but not to say I didn't have any experiences from non-African <laughs> braiders. Right. From so, from black. Black American, yeah, African American. African American. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mad at me. I'm just telling the truth. And we are just talking hey, about our trust experiences. Me, I, could, I could go real deep on white salons. <laughs> From the cheapest to the most expensive too. I can I have a lot of stuff on that too. Yeah, and we but. can talk about it here and there. Like we might put it on. Yeah. But um yeah, let's go ahead. Let's All right. talk about it. All right. So what I noticed was I never really paid attention to this before when I was living uh, up north, but like when I moved down south, I got married, and if you have not seen our um, How We Met video or yeah. the video we recently did, there's a picture of my ring on there. Mm -hmm. So like I would wear this ring, and this ring caught a lot of flack from a lot of people yeah. in a good way and a bad way. Yeah, this was a flashy ring. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> and so what I realized was Jory would actually come with me sometimes to mm -hmm. um, get my hair braided. We do stuff together. A lot. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> oh, we kind of like each other. We do. We are each other's best friends. Yeah. So we kind of do. But anyway, he usually comes Hi. with me. Hi. <laughs> You're so goofy. So he usually comes with me. But what he would do is like he would drop me off and then like go run some errands or go grab something and then come in the salon. So like mm -hmm. the braiders never saw him as we walked in together mm -hmm. he they all saw him after the fact yeah. so i would go in okay i want this you know i want micro braids yeah. uh, you know how much and like okay um 160 all right that's pretty normal like if you're down south 
It ranges yeah. 160, two something, something. Yeah. And so then, um, so that was no problem after Jory, you know, would come and uh, after the fact. But when he would walk in, they wouldn't know he was with me right away until I like would wave him over. And then, <laughs> and then the price, price, mm. price gouging would begin. <laughs> yeah. If. They but then they would quality. just say, well, it took longer. Right. Or, or like <laughs> it was, yeah. you know, because of the quality here you right. got or whatever right. the case might be. So we started picking up as a couple that when we came together, <laughs> like um, the price was like 180, 200. Right. Were they like, oh, he got, she got a man. Well, her man can pay for this. So, <laughs> and yes, it was <laughs> like, oh, that's your husband? Yeah, he's with me. Oh, okay. And the price went up. Right. So, Jory and I, since we're best friends, we got real smart. <laughs> yeah. Okay? You know what's funny about this, though? And you guys already know, because we've talked about where I came from. Yeah. And I'm not wealthy like that. No, he's not. So, like, really, <laughs> when they saw me, they should have been like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Let, let me give you a discount. <laughs> you need a discount, <laughs> Yeah, baby. I'm sorry. You with him? You with that rust bucket driving country man? Let me give you a discount. <laughs> you need a discount, baby. You need All a discount. I'm sorry. You, you got to live. Matter of fact, let me pay you. <laughs> If they only knew. It was not that no. bad. But, no. yeah, we didn't, like, have it, have it. But somehow, because I was dressed a certain way, uh -huh. I was with the white guy, and I had all the blinks had in the world. Ring. Yeah, like, yeah. then it was like, oh, your price is a lot higher. <laughs> like, comment down below if you know what I mean. This is not even just, like, like an interracial couple thing. It's if they think you have affluence. Yeah, yeah then they're like, yeah. oh, the price goes up. So, yeah. anyway. And th this is not just assumptions. This is no, stuff this we is tested. <laughs> right, because, <laughs> listen, y'all, so... When I was with Jory, I would go to one braiding and it was like, oh, 200 and some dollars, yeah. you know. I didn't feel like doing my hair. I'm like, whatever, okay. But then, <laughs> the same braiding salon, if the braider that it braided my hair was not there, they see so many people, they're not going to remember. Mm -hmm. So we got slick where I would take off my ring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no ring. So, no ring. No purse. No purse. <laughs> Right. No purse put the money, money in your pocket. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> um, no hubby. No hubby. Then and. my price was good. Hold on, hold on, we get there. <laughs> so then my price was like 150, 160, where it should be. Yeah. And so I went to another salon where we went to another salon where like the braiders sat by the window so they can kind of see what car you pull up in, right? <laughs> A better view, right? <laughs> and enjoy the view. So then we learned quickly about that too. So Jory would drop me off far off <laughs> and I would walk into the salon. Yeah. How much is it? Yeah, like you came in on the bus. <laughs> So oh, you didn't have a car. You walked you all walked. day to get there. So, to yeah, don't charge me. I don't, yeah. I don't have it. So, those are, like, some of the things we uh, have noticed. It, yeah. Like, price, price gouging. Yeah. Uh, it's not just hair salon, too. It's nail salon. Yeah. But Jory said something that was really interesting. It was so true. Do you remember about huh. um, don't look too Oh, low, yeah. You know? Yeah, there's yeah. that. But... But the, uh, on the other end, you walk into a nail salon looking rough, mm -hmm. they're going to ask for the money up front. <laughs> so, you pay me now? You yeah, pay me now? Yeah. And then we do your nails. Because <laughs> they're nervous. They're not going to get paid. Or if you, do, if you look like you don't have it at all, then certain... Um, oh, they might services were denied. Yeah, to they you. would deny you certain services. Yeah, yeah. yeah that so. uh, that upset me a <laughs> lot one time when Vinamay called and I found out that uh, the nail salon owner uh -huh. had denied Vinamay a certain thing. I said, "What happened?" And Vinamay mm -hmm. said, "Well, I wanted." Uh, mm -hmm. Was it gel nails or some some type yeah, of powder. nails that were just a little more expensive? More expensive yeah. And the lady had said, "We don't do that." Or we only do that for certain, certain. types of people. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> no, not we today. We don't call <laughs> all the bad people. I was like, and don't lazy we don't <laughs> What can I do? What can I? I'm Are like, we going to shut them down? down? <laughs> I, was, I was coming for them. And I, I, uh. I got off the phone. I really did call the he NAACP. Did. And I was like, what can we do about this? Yeah. And I was headed down that road. Vinna called me back. She's like, honey, honey, just it's not let it go. <laughs> so I was hot. I mean, I mean, 
drive a bulldozer into the nail salon. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. do not do yeah. that to my yeah. wife. No. Yeah, this is 2000 something. <laughs> that, I'm sorry, no. Yes. <laughs> so, so I've had a few experiences too going to get my hair cut. Now, growing up, my mom cut my hair. Uh -huh. Okay, so I, and a lot of times, she'd let us have whatever we wanted. Yeah. So I had mohawks. I had a reverse mohawk once where the, the center was just one shaved strip all the way Whoa. back. And then, <laughs> honestly, it didn't look that good. It looked more like, <laughs> kind of like a weird balding pattern where you've got like hair on both sides and nothing in the middle all the way through. That is so But I was weird. like, I want this, mom. She's like, okay. okay. Uh, I knew some girls in the church that were like going to be uh, what, what do you call them? Stylists? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stylists. So I would go to them wherever they were working, get mm -hmm. my hair cut. And, and so I did that. And I, like, I had to learn about the whole thing that you tip your stylist. I didn't know that. And then afterward, I felt kind of bad. I was like, man, here I am, this homeschool kid. And like, <laughs> these girls are like never getting their tips. Oh. And one time, one of them was nice enough to say, you know, um, you know, it's kind of expected that you give it to <laughs> She said that? Yeah. Like, oh, well, that's It wasn't for good. her. It was, I think it was for someone else. Oh, okay. Was, oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's good. Someone yeah. taught you. Yeah. yeah. And so then I felt better about, okay, I got to remember to leave a tip. Mm -hmm. you know, all this stuff. <laughs> and, but I'm a cheapskate. Okay. Let's just, let's just lay that out. So $15 for a haircut and then I'm getting a tip as well. And it's like... I, you know, really there's a lot more to a haircut than just that uh -huh. because if you can get your hair cut for $5.99, <laughs> I mean, there's a big sign by the road that says, big deal, $5.99 haircuts. Jordan would get I so will, excited. I will crush He's in like, the air. oh, free haircut. Free haircut. Turn, turn, turn. $5.99 haircut. $5.99 getting a haircut right now. You get what you pay for. Okay, so... <laughs> I have I have gone back in uh -huh. to get it redone. Where it's, uh -huh. I get home and Vinamay's like, "Are you kidding?" <laughs> I was like, "It's five ninety nine. I, I pass, see. I couldn't pass it up. But you get what you pay for. Yeah. Then like all these haircuts that I've had, and then taking Jabin to get his haircut because Jabin's mixed. Mm -hmm. Jabin is black. Okay. <laughs> Jabin is white. He's both. I want him to have that full experience. You yeah, know. Yeah. Because what I've observed about black barber shops is that it's not just a haircut. No. This is so much more. It's the experience. This is culture. Yeah. This is relationship. Uh-huh. This is family. Uh -huh. This is community. Mm -hmm. This is like the hinge pin almost of like <laughs> male black culture in uh -huh. a certain community. Uh -huh. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, this no, is what you're I've right, observed. baby. You're right. And, and let me tell you, as comfortable and um, as much fun as they're having, I, when I walk in, <laughs> I feel so out of place. Hey, what more? <laughs> I'm like, boop, boop. So price gouging. Yeah, I saw, I, I did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like when you came along, yeah. there was like a nice little price. Yeah. But but when I came in, it was By like. By himself. Hey. Yeah. yeah. It's like a difference of like <laughs> 10 to $15 to like. Above fifty, we'll say that. <laughs> and he he came home, and I said, "Oh, how did it go? It went fine. How much was it? What did you say? Thirty some dollars?" I can't remember. I was like, "For what? <laughs> For Jaden's haircut?" I said, "Oh my god, you're not going anymore." <laughs> she I had to know. come along. Yeah. So then it was like a nice. It's supposed to be like ten dollars. Yeah. Well, we. I mean, we found a real good guy. We started going with the owner of the shop. Even that. We've learned the strategy. Yeah. How do we? Okay, for this one, we gonna go together because yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause they see you. Because and they, they know. see me, I'm like I'm not playing with you, and you know it's ten dollars at the most. All 15. she's gotta do is go. <laughs> there is definitely price down in there. I remember, <laughs> like even the wait time, Jory was like, "I am not going back." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. There was one. There was one. There were two back in your hometown. There were two. Where, like, was... you sent me to go get lunch. <laughs> where I was like, we've been here two hours. We haven't gotten any closer to getting the kids to, to like getting Jamie in the seat. There's, like, four people still ahead of us. Yes. <laughs> Lord Almighty. How long were we there? Because, like, you guys can, you know, he told us we could go eat in the back of the, you know, because we brought our lunch in. Because yeah. <laughs> our family was camping out there for the day. <laughs> 
but they're not all like that. No. If he, I don't think he wanted to turn anyone down, but it was a little crazy. No, but we told, I mean, we told him we were coming, and he said, yeah, noon will be it, but like, when we got we there, got there, there, like there were a bunch of, of people ahead of us. <laughs> we were like, for real? And then he's got to take a break to eat, and yeah, I'm like. Just him, yeah. <laughs> We found another place. <laughs> but even there, you yeah. had to wait. Right. We made right. an appointment, and then um, <laughs> I was like, oh, you're about to be done. But, I yeah, call. And, and I get that, but like, I feel like I don't have a place to judge because I don't understand the culture as well. Listen. <laughs> so like, for me, it's like, I feel like I'm on a, on a path of learning where it's like, um, Jory, don't judge with your uptight <laughs> whiteness. Worried about time frames and schedules no, and being no, on time. Hold on now, Listen, hold on. <laughs> I tell myself this: calm uh -huh, down, uh -huh. just relax. This is part of the culture. Uh -huh. You you're supposed to enjoy it, enjoy <laughs> each other, the conversation, you know, the whatever's on the TV and the conversations happening, uh -huh. and, you know, the banter and and when it's your time. You'll get a haircut. But, like, it, 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 <laughs> listen, we can ban turn during my schedule appointment, okay? Like, do. <laughs> so, you're all about professional, then. Okay. I, I, I get I, it. But know, what I'm saying is, you know how tight I am about Oh, I know. I know. But I need to calm down. But I felt him on that one because it was like four hours, like, for a little boy. And I just. That was thought, rough. That, that was, was rough. not okay. Like, yeah. so that is our black hair experience. <laughs> As a couple, yeah. like what to do, what not to do, yeah. when to go together, when to say, maybe you stay in the car. Yeah, play your cards right. <laughs> take off your earrings, yeah. take off your rings, don't don't bring a purse, put that money in your pocket, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and pretend like you walked over there. Yeah. So we covered it all. Yeah. And, you know, bring your lunch, because you're bound to be there all day, <laughs> and just sit there and enjoy the ride. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this little video about hair. Yes, our and hair experiences as yes. an interracial couple. I'm sure we'll have many more. Yeah. And as always, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.